After the successful conclusion of the recent elections in which President Bashar al-Assad was re-elected, Syria is entering a new phase marked by hard work, resistance and perseverance. A phase that the Syrian people are confident will be one of recovery and well-being after many years of imposed terrorist war and suffering. Our correspondent Hisham Wanas brings us more details. The electoral campaign slogan of re-elected President Bashar al-Assad, Hope Lies in Work, has become the title of the current stage that Syria is going through. Efforts that the Syrian people hope will prioritize the introduction of economic reforms that will lead to an improvement in their living standards, seriously affected by the terrorist war, the blockade and the coercive measures adopted by European and the United States governments. We are confident that our president will make the right decision and hopefully solve the problem of the lack of jobs and help those without work to overcome the difficult situation marked by rising prices and overwhelm their life. There are many people who lost their homes, their business and their possessions and we hope that the president works to help them and we stress that we will support his effort and reiterate that we trust him and will remain loyal to him and stand by him until the end. We congratulate the president for winning the election and affirm we will continue to work under his leadership and we hope that he prioritize the fights against corruption and corrupt people and fight against those people who gamble with the people's livelihood and make their life more difficult. Syrians turned out in huge numbers to the polls on May 26 to decide the future of their country, a decision that they celebrate with large-scale popular acts of support for re-elected President Bashar al-Assad and which they demand to be respected by the world and which they hope will lead to a change in the hostility policy implemented by Western countries led by the United States and other European, regional and Arab nations towards their country. There are some countries that are still trying to exert pressure to achieve certain results, but in general, this phase of the war is marked by the presence of many countries that want to change their policies towards Syria, albeit gradually, because they understand that after these presidential elections, the situation is not the same as before them. The current atmosphere in Syria is filled with faith in a prompt improvement that is mixed with the joy over the political triumph achieved with the recently concluded general elections. The Syrian people show that they are free, lively and bold people who do not bow to pressure and that under the leadership of their president they are determined to continue to work and keep alive the hope for the liberation of Syrian territory from terrorism and occupation and the recovery of the security, stability and glory of their country.